receiving congratulations as well from those in attendance here at the auditorium in Verdun. WAKO est toujours invaincu. Il a participé au film de Police Academy 3 et 4, également Speed Zone, Ding et Dong et bien d'autres. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, accueillons chaleureusement à The World Welcome, Jean Frenet, Mesdames, Messieurs, Jean Frenet. Jean Frenet, to the applause here in Verdun. John Frenette, former world champion in the forms competition, has traveled all over the world. Seminars. Jean Frenet. Some of those kicks looking like they rattle off the roof here at the auditorium in Verdun. The beauty, grace, and power of Marshall Ballet. John Paul Mitchell, Marshall Ballet. Three of our championship bouts have been completed, and now we get ready for the co-main event and the fight that I think most here at the auditorium have been waiting for, and that is Jean-Yves Terrio. Antasis Petridis. Terrio, of course, the 38 year old from Ottawa, from Orleans, Ontario, going against the Australian from Melbourne in Petridis. And we asked to talk to Bob Wall when you were up doing your interview, of course, about how this now, that win by Piotrowski, what that does to this, these three fighters all wanting to fight with Rick Rufus, but that separated shoulder may have more to say about that than anything. It really could. A separated shoulder is that kind of injury that uh, really plagues you for a long time. Let's go to uh, Robert Tangay for a special presentation. Pour son intégrité et jugement d'arbitre, également pour avoir assuré le kickboxing au Québec, également d'avoir entraîné une nouvelle Victor génération. Victor Terrio making a presentation to uh, Robert Panetton there in ring center. Robert Panetton retired from refereeing at Karate Mania 5 and has been a tremendous supporter of the sports here in uh, Canada now for the past 20 years. Great instructor, Robert Panetton. And receiving congratulations from the referee, J.T. Wall, as we go inside the dressing room of Tassis Petridis. <laughs> and of course, the, the thoughts of the fighter always come into question in a, at a time like this. Paul Feifeld there with him, a former world-ranked competitor, also from Melbourne, who trains Tassis there in Melbourne. Behind him you see Christopher Tony, the promoter for Tassis, the treatise in Australia. He's come a long way from Melbourne. But when you want a chance at the, the best in Rufus, for example, you sometimes have to do the chasing, as it were, to run down your fights. And he had to come to Verdun to face Terrio. I mean, this is a, I'm being too harsh to say it's a career make or break fight for somebody like Tassis. 
I don't think so. Not at this age, uh, at age 27, even if he were to lose to Terrio, I don't think that would be a uh, breaking point. But I tell you, a win would certainly make his career. And suddenly rocket him into contention for that World Light Heavyweight Championship. And who knows, a win here, he might get the first chance at a Rick Rufus come October. Tassis Petridis from Melbourne, Australia. What do you think of his training? Very powerful. He uh, kicks very powerfully, punches very powerfully as well. He's got the right mental attitude. Question's going to be how on is Terrio and how on is Petridis? All right, the crowd starts the chant of Jean Yves, Jean Yves here in Verdun. And we will wait and watch as you do for the Iceman. From his dressing room, 38 year old John E. Perio will make his entrance into the auditorium here in Verdun. And the Iceman will come through the smoke of dry ice. Jean-Yves Terrio is a member of that rare breed of individual, that inspirational one-in-a-million athlete whose very presence moves his legion of fans to frenzy. The legs of steel, the marvelous coordination, the awesome power, and the intensity that comes from his single-minded, almost myopic focus. The ingredients that combine to turn this charming, articulate, intelligent martial artist and family man into the precision fighting machine that all of Canada, all the world now know as the Iceman. You know, the, the transformation that occurs between Jean-Yves, the person that, that's sitting in front of you now, and then the Iceman that's in the ring, uh, they're very hard to explain. I think that right now I'm a little bit more uh, sociable. Uh, uh, I think I can, uh, you know, joke with anybody and, and, and you know, uh, I love to meet people and talk with people, and when I do, uh, when the when the, the Ice Man comes out, he's not a very nice man. Uh, uh, he's very concentrated. Uh, there's really not nothing important to, besides getting into that ring and uh, doing what he's trained to do. Oh, no, no, no. Despite 58 knockouts over 17 years, there were those who felt the Ice Man may be melting. But last December at PKA Karate Mania 5. Terrio proudly convinced the fight world that he was indeed not ready, nor would he be considering retirement soon. And confident from that success, Terrio accepted tonight's aggressive challenge from the heavier WKA champion Tassis Pedridis, an opponent many people feel may be too young, too hungry, and too strong. I'll have to admit I'm not terribly uh, into his vibes. I mean, I'm into myself. I'm concentrating a lot on what I have to do, and uh, uh, I'm confident in my abilities, and uh, 
uh, I'm not really concerned with him. Now a win over Petridis will guarantee Terrio's fall matchup with Rick the Jet Rufus, who sees the Terrio Rufus clash as the most important bout in PKA history. And the Jet was at a Montreal conference to wish him well. And I've come to uh, root John Yves on uh, to, uh, to win because uh, the biggest fight in sports history is going to happen in October. And uh, I wouldn't want to see anything happen as far as him losing because uh, it would ruin our plans. You know, the only thing I have to tell him is to uh, think about recuperating from his injury and uh, let me do my work and uh, hopefully we'll meet him in October and uh, from there I'll, I'll go on to bigger and better things. But Cassis Pedridas has come to Montreal not to cheer on a Rufus Terrio about in the fall, but to rain on the parade with his brand of thunder from down under. As the WKA World Light Heavyweight Champion boasting an impressive 21 KOs and 27 wins, Pedridas feels no pressure facing the Canadian legend, especially in his own backyard. The pressure's not really on me. The pressure's on John Ave, because it is his hometown, and everybody expects him to win. So he has to perform. And no one really knows me here. And they're going to get a big surprise. And with power evenly distributed among his lanky limbs, Thunder Pedrida, like Terrio, experiences a metamorphosis when he's in the ring. Well, out of the ring, I'm just like an everyday bloke. But in the ring, it's strictly business. I go in there to do a job, and that's what I get paid for. I get paid for it to hurt the other guy and to win. I have to come out second best. And nor does Petridis expect to be part of Terrio's plans to fight Rufus in the fall. Everybody's got these big plans of jean e fighting Rick Rufus, you know? But except for me. I come all the way from down from Australia. Come a long way to fight jean -E, And I'm telling you now, it's not going to be jean -E fighting Rick Rufus. It's going to be myself. That's if Rick Rufus accepts the fight. So tonight, Cassis Petridis must face the real life test, as so many have before him. In his effort to break the ice man, it is thunder. It is the ice in Montreal. And we are live in Verdun for PKA Karate Mania 6 on Viewer's Choice pay-per-view. And in Western Canada home theater, now let's join our ring announcer, Monsieur Robert Tanguay. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, avant de vous présenter les deux kickboxers de la soirée, Veuillez maintenant, s'il vous plaît, vous lever pour l'hymne national d'Australie. Would you please now rise for the Auster Australian national anthem. Mesdames, 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 Messieurs, pour l'hymne national canadien, veuillez vous joindre à Madame Sylvie Jasma.
Moments away now from this PKC World Super Middleweight fight between Jean-Yves Carrillo and Tassis Petridis. Mesdames, Messieurs, les productions Victor Thérion et la PK présentent le combat principal de la soirée, prévu pour 12 rondes pour le championnat du monde PKC Super Mi Moyen, sanctionné par la PK Alliance mondiale, incluant la WKA, PKC, WAKO et la Régie de sécurité dans les sports du Québec, dont M. Jean-Claude Riendo en est le président. Victor Terrio Production and PKA Karate, the kicks of the 90s, presents the main event of the evening, about scheduled for 12 rounds for the PKC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Tonight's event is sanctioned by the PKA World Alliance, which includes WKA, PKCWA, Rain Contact Fighting Arts, and the All Eurasians Council of Kickboxing and PKA Karate Mania 6 is conducted under the jurisdiction of Jean-Claude Riendo, President of La Régie de la Sécurité dans les Sports du Québec. Dans le coin bleu de Melbourne, Australia, faisant 171,9, avec une fiche de 27 victoires, une défaite, dont 21 par mise hors de combat. Il est le champion du monde, WKA catégorie Milou. In the blue corner from Melbourne, Australia, he stands at 6 feet 2 inches tall. He weighed in today at 171.9 pounds. He also has a contact karate record of 27 wins. One losses with 21 of his wins by knockout. He is the WKA light heavyweight champion of the world. Mesdames, Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, Tassis the Thunder Patridis. Patridis. Et dans le coin rouge de Ottawa, pesant 171 livres, avec une fiche de 67 victoires. Quatre défaites et un combat nul, dont 59 par mise en de combat. In the rector from Ottawa, Ontario, at an even six feet, weighed in at 171 pounds, he has a contact karate record of 67 wins, four losses and one draw, with 59 of his wins by knockout. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, please greet. The Iceman, Jean-Yves Terrio! Terrio! The judges, the judges are Emilien Nado, Marcel Jodoin, and Annie Falsoni. Les officiels de coup de pied, the kick officials, Messieurs Richard Dagraoufel et Monsieur Philippe Chartier. Et l'arbitre, the referee, Mr. J.T. Will. Et tout d'abord, Mesdames et Messieurs, au centre de l'arène avec nous ce soir, nous avons le champion du monde, catégorie Milour. With us tonight, he is the super middleweight champion of the world. Mesdames, Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, Rick the Jet Rufus. Mesdames, Messieurs, Rufus. Well, as you heard him say earlier, because of that injury, he was hoping to fight Également tonight. Également pour souhaiter bonne chance aux deux kickboxers. Mesdames, Messieurs, il est l'ars défenseur du club d'hockey canadien. Il a été l'équipe à remporter une 24e Coupe Stanley. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, Patrice Brisbois, Mesdames, Messieurs, du Canadien de Montréal, from the Montreal Canadiens, from the Patrice Stanley Brisbois. Cup champion. Montreal Canadien, Patrice Brisbois. Rufus offering congratulations. The best of luck to both. Center. Terrio Center. and Patridis. Okay, gentlemen, just a last second reminder. Make sure you keep your kicks above the waist. In the case of a knockdown, I'll direct the standing fire to a neutral corner. You stay there until I call you out. When I say break, 
step back, do not hit or kick your opponent. I say this is the way the tail of the tape is, and most telling is the 12 years in age difference. Yeah, that's going to be the major uh, determining factor in some people's minds. Terrio doesn't see it as any factor at all. Interesting, I pointed out to you when we were watching Terrio, his eyes, the focus in his eyes, you saw it immediately. It, it really is this, this strange transformation that goes on with Terrio. This what? man that you see at the news conference wearing the almost professor-like glasses. And break, break. Back, 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 back. Well, he's just decided that he's going to take that focus that you're talking about and just go right in on uh, Petridis. Some of his pre-fight comments, Terrios, he says that he expects Petridis to come at him and try and withstand it is what he'll try to do. Would you agree with that? Yes, I, I would agree with that. It's going to be a question of who's going to back who up in this fight. Petridis has a very good overhand right. Terrios acting like at this early stage he's going to give him no, absolutely no respect of any kind. The right, glancing right, catches Rufus. Right again, Petridis. Let's don't Petridis, catch, pardon let's me. Don't catch Rufus yet. We're no, gonna catch Rufus. I'm looking, I, the reason <laughs> I'm looking here, Mr. Rufus is sitting beside us. Pardon me, Rick. I know. Welcome to our our table here. Thank you. Petridis is said to have a good jaw. Terrio has started to try to find the range with the uh, right hand. Uh, deja vu. One warning. Next time he That's a warning. You're, Rick, you're finding it a little tough just to sit here, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I have a very uh, exclusive interest in this. Well, I'm sure. Went up to the head and lost his balance. Nice kick. Uh, just yanked his uh, supporting leg right off the floor. go 12. Rick, you're right. We heard you comment before. This is the fight you want. Terrio, they're talking about October. Now, Piotrowski's win. How does that affect things here? Uh, I really don't think uh, with Piotrowski winning tonight that that'll have any effect on what John Eves, John Eves and I have planned for October. Hopefully he gets through this fight uh, with no bumps, no bruises, and uh, we can sit down and finally map out a fight that's been long awaited. Uh, for me, it's destiny. And uh, I'm going to come here to Montreal. And as I said earlier, out with the old, in with the new. Your thought, your uh, scoring on that one, uh, Joe? First round? I had the first round as an even round. Uh, they uh, didn't penalize Petridis for kicking low. And we said deja vu because last time we were here in Karate Mania 5, Leo Deschnaux. Got disqualified from throwing about 40 low kicks against Terrio, but we don't think that'll happen with Petridis. That left leg again up around the right ear of Terrio. Got hung up on his shoulder there and opened, exposed himself. <laughs> Joe is suggesting that age here may be a factor, 12 years difference. Do you think so, uh, Rick? No, John Eves uh, still has the uh, burning desire that fire thin, and he's uh, he's going to stay here. He says as long as his body will allow him, and uh, he doesn't take any severe punishments, he still looks good. He still looks good, and he's still a great champion. The key, Joe, as well, is that you know when you look at 13 years, 67 fights, or 67 wins, more than 70 fights, average about five and a half per year. He's never lets himself get out of shape. Always been in condition the entire time. As we watch here, this Petridis is not intimidated at this point. Nothing has landed solid on Petridis yet to get his attention as it did early on with Leo Deschnaux. 50-50 there as they both land coming in. You've heard it said before in other sports about home crowds, the factor here 
And it's not untrue. Uh, Petridis needs to take the crowd out of the fight. Oh, there's no question about it. Uh, I, I can uh, vouch for that. I went to uh, all good right hand. And Petridis Scott. is cut on his right eye. Don't hold him. Continue. Build a little momentum here and take the crowd out of it because John needs to hear is a national hero. And uh, oh, oh, good right hand. Oh, and Johnny, oh, sir. And Johnny Eve is down here late Three, four, five, in round two. Johnny Eve takes the right seven, hand from Cassius Petridis. Let's go. Standing eight from the referee, JT Wall. And after suffering the cut. Petridis comes through and lands one, Ontario. No, no question about it. Johnny caught the good, solid right hand there, and he went down. He's not used to that, so the question's going to be, will Guy Millet and the guys in the corner be able to get him back? And that's certainly going to do wonders for Petridis' confidence. It it's looked as if, sorry, it looked as if the left was low, and he snuck the right hand over it. And Petridis was hurrying his punches over there. He wasn't in calm and collected. He was just tapping John Eve that put him down over in the corner. We, we talked about earlier needing momentum. I think that's what uh, Petridis needed. Well, we talked about the uh, focus and the intensity of somebody such as Jean Yves Now he'll have to dig. He'll have to try and regroup, refocus. As we go into round three, and how'd you score that? Right. Had that is a 10 out, 10 8 round for Petridis. Break, break. And he is just going in to dig the right hand now. That's his favorite technique, is that power right hand. Right Petridis has got confidence with it. Gets the left oh. foot up. Please, please. Oh, and Petridis now is teeing off a little bit on Cario. Just charging him, sneaks the right foot around the kidney. Get off, get off, baby. Push out, right out. This is the fight that the Terry O camp did not want to see happen. Oh, the right again over that left. It's just low from Terry O. And wildly, Petridis. Oh, right back. He saw the opening, the wild right. Petridis is still hurt. Terrio comes right back here in round Don't three. Sticks hey. the foot up hey, in no self-defense. The right again comes across from Terrio. And the chant of Johnny. Petridis' legs are still soft. Step back, his legs still right there. Oh, oh again, that left low and the right snuck in right from Petridis. Right Third break. round. And both fighters have done their damage early. though going back on that late kick from Petridis and we've completed three rounds you're scoring I gave that last one Terrio slim margin 10-9 you can see the cut around the right eye right at the corner the right again the low the low left Petridis uh, definitely uh, throws a very, very good right hand. It's nice and straight. And if a guy keeps his left hand down, like John Eames is doing there, I'm sure they're going to tell him in the corner put it up. He's that right hand hit him right square on the point of the chin. Terry, uh, Petridis has a great structure to that jaw, great structure to that chin. And there he comes back. He's landing his own. But then Terrio gets him set and decides he's going to trade right hands with him right after that. And Terrio comes out on top. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep that ice. Okay, all right. Begin. Round four. Yeah. 
holding. Now we saw this explosion where both seem to want to take each other out quickly. Who does it favor if it goes much longer than this? Joe? Seems to me that the advantage is to Petridis uh, later in the fight, but you just never know how much the Terrio power will take out of him either, Rick. No, I got to agree with that. Petridis uh, is using the right hand as he's hitting John Eames more. He's building confidence, and I would, you know, John Eames being 38, I guess Petridis has age on his side. Oh, oh my. Right that straight right got through, and it rocked him off the ropes. A good solid right. It was a little high. And again, on that face of Petridis, he's got a face built to take punches. What you mean by that is when a guy's got a real solid jaw structure like that and very high and powerful cheekbones, he can normally take more than your average person. Ooh. Spinning kick misses from Petridis. Petridis is starting to wince a little bit when the Terrio punches come. Just a little. Yeah, a little warning there from J.T. Wall, but the little slap at the break from Terrio. Hold him, hold him. A warning for holding. Do not hold him. The referee is J.T. Do not, do not hold him. Will. Oh, again, oh. That, that left down, and he pays for it, Terrio. It was, a, it was a nice Arm right off. then by Petridis. He I threw know, a one-two combination. I don't know why Terrio in the corner, they don't have him holding the left arm up a little higher. Also, it seems, though, when he's turning away, he throws that little left shoulder, Rick at uh, Terrio. He, he sort of shows you his left side. I think he's kind of camouflaging the uh, drop in the left by camouflaging the right. A little bruising already as well under the left eye of... Terrio, the cut at the corner of the right eye for Cassis Petridis, the 26-year-old from Melbourne. Our guest is Rick Rufus, of course, who looks at this fight and hopes that Terrio can get through and for what many people are predicting, the biggest, biggest fight ever. It's professional karate. Begin. I'm over here praying. John Hayes, put that left hand up. <laughs> I never uh, knew much about Cassis there, but uh, he's, he's impressed me. He's a good, worthy opponent. No question about it. Ready, ready. That support foot just comes out when he tries that. It was a jump spinning back kick. Terrio stepped inside of it and pushed his body against Petridis while his other while his other leg was in the air. Quickly had to score four. I had that one dead even with both guys nailing one another, each with one good solid shot in the round. The crowd reacting to a left foot that was blocked. Oh, that's spinning. Left foot from Petridis just misses. Oh, my, what a straight left leg. Another right straight into the forehead of Petridis. Petridis looks over to his corner and winks after that one as though he's definitely not hurt. And down goes Terrio. Leg trapped on the shoulder of Petridis. Yeah, get the arm off. That is somewhere, Joe, I would think that Terrio doesn't want to be inside as he backs away from the spinning kick of Petridis. Actually, but Terrio's uh, best weapons probably are inside in this fight, Rick. What do you think? I think so. Absolutely. It, from what I see, it looks like Petridis is trying to get John Eves to back up off the right hand and duck into the left round kick. That's what I'm thinking or seeing. Bird.
Christ, Holyfield has to beat the destroyer, Alex Stewart. John Molina fights to keep his world title in Puerto Rico. Manuel Medina wants to bring the title back to Mexico. Has beat the broken neck. Can he survive two-time world champion Hunnigan? Holyfield Stewart. Molina Medina. Has he ends a Hunnigan? Only the strong survive. We've completed five. How did you score it? I had the last one for Terrio, 10-9. I've got him dead even now, 48-48. Front leg, hook kick, heel kick as they call it to the jaw. That's the one where Petritus looked over his corner and uh, winked. Round six. Terrio's trying to beat the right hand now with a left hook. I don't know if that's the thing he should be doing. I think, Rick, I would have him be firing his left jab a little more, Terrio. Absolutely. I, I would try to close the distance and fight him on the inside because when Petritus is on the outside, he has better leverage with the right hand. Spoken by a man who knows about leverage from the outside. Mm. This time, the right is over the head, glancing blows by Petritus. The right gets through from Terrio. Yeah, that was a. Uh, Smart of Petritus to hold there. <laughs> Terrio is doing the same thing he did in the last fight against Leo Deschnaux. Even the even the kicks that are going to the body that he should be moving out of the way of, he's not. It, it seems to me that uh, that other person that's inside Johnny's is let go right now and. Uh, He's having a hard time controlling. He's trying to show that he's the, the power fighter and taking the kicks. And believe me, I've, I've fought some of the best kickers in the world. There's no reason for John Eves to stay there and take him. Once again, the crowd here in Verdun getting behind John Eterio. I want penalty point for holding. Do not put your arm around him. Let's go. That's an important penalty point, but that's the purpose of that, that, that rule. himself open he came in with a Arm overhand off. right Don't hit behind the head Terrio buried one fight out fight out push out get that arm off push out break oh he's got to keep the left hand up even JT will wondering where the bell was and they finally how much smarter of a fighter do you think John Eve is now at 38? Because they always say the older you get, you use your head more. If you don't have it physically, is he is he a smart fighter? There's no question. John Eve has 72 fights. Uh, he's, he's a great champion. He wouldn't be here today if he wasn't. Uh, you know, he's probably slowed his fights down a little more. It's more of a thinking game. But uh, I guess he's hoping this kid burns out, but it looks like he's not. We've completed six in your score, Joe. Well, I uh, had that as an even round, but uh, Petritus, oh. Petritus was penalized for holding in that round. That one point could cost him dearly. Of course, Terrio nailed him with a good solid right hand in that round, but Terrio got caught a couple of times himself. And once again, we got a good look at that uh, Petritus jaw. Again, that overhand left, or the overhand oh. right sneaking by the left of Terrio. Get the arm off, don't hold him. Great. Now remember, push out, push the right. Petritus has already lost a point for holding. That's it, get that arm off. Johnny, get that arm off. And now the warning by JT Will to Petritus <laughs> and to Terrio, both of them for holding. Terrio blocked that kick by raising his leg. That took a lot of energy for Petritus to get himself off the floor then. Great, great. 
I say break, you stop immediately. Halfway through the fight, how do you compare their stamina at this point? Hey! Over here, over here. I have a penalty point for a little kick. Kick it right in the leg. There's your move. Referee JT Will not Hold the time. warning and not Hold the time. waiting and not procrastinating as we saw right last year, corner. last time when we were here in December on the leg kicks. He took they'll a penalty take, point, point after off. one warning. He warned him once. He took a penalty point for the first one after that, which is this one. Well, he had a warning earlier, right? Right. right. And when I say the first one after that, okay. I mean the first one Begin. that he saw. Petritus did land up. a couple that Mr. Roof, uh, Mr. Will didn't see. Break, break, step back. All right. Break. Uh, I say break, don't break. From Teddy Oak. Break! Back. All right, continue. Back out, back out, back out. Ooh. Oh, again, that right for Vegeta sneaks in there. Back, back, back. One of two things has happened. Number one, Petritus has lost steam in it, or number two, Taylor has gained confidence with it. Back, 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 back. Ben's in behind John Eves uh, definitely has got to keep uh, Petritus at bay. It looks like he's starting to throw the right hands again, and he's catching him on the way in. Why not? Get the arm off, the arm off. That's it, break! Jean Eterio. 67 wins as a professional in a 13-year career, 59 of them by knockout. How'd you score that one? I gave that round to Petritus. Uh, of course, he lost the advantage by kicking Terrio in the leg then. So with Petritus having lost two points, I've got them uh, dead even at this point. But I uh, would have had Petritus ahead by two points without the penalties. Cassis Petritus. Rick, how do you compare their stamina after seven? I uh, think Petritus is in good shape. And uh, John Eves looks Again. to be in shape, but physically at his age, we don't know where he's going. Oh, oh boy. Jesus, please. Don't know what his reaction times are like now in these last rounds. Oh, oh there was a good right hand by John Eves. No. Petridas looking for the low blow from the referee, J.T. Will, didn't get the call. If it was low, I didn't see it low. Break! Back, 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 back. It seems like uh, this is the first time I've saw John Eves. He's, he's a little hesitant. He's not... Ooh! That was a kick he threw into the chain the other day in the uh, training gym. Hit him square. <laughs> That's the technique that I would have had Johnny Terrio using from round one. That left jab. I would have said, use it right there, Johnny. Okay. See, those are the kicks that pay off later in the rounds. You don't want to stand there and take those. I mean, your arms start becoming fatigued, and your ribs and your body just aches. And John Eves being as old as he is, I would assume he wouldn't want to take those. John Eves got hit with another right hand. That's the technique that he learned from Terrio, where he picks up the right hand to fake a kick, and Terrio just did it back to him. Yep. Right got through, and then a right kick from Petridis. Terrio with the front 
leg hook kick, followed with a right hand, and fortunately for Terry, uh, for Petritas, the right hand missed. It was aimed down and skimmed right by his face. It's interesting. Ricky seemed to get it up there, hesitate for just a second, and give it that extra little snap in the end. It wasn't just. That's what we call a delayed reaction. You get the guy to pause, hold his hand there. He thinks you're going to kick, and at that time, he goes to step in, and you throw it over the hand. And you scored it? I had That is an even round myself, and I've got it uh, dead even still. At the end of eight rounds, I've got it 77-77 because Petritus has lost two points. Ninth round. Expensive points for him. JT will warn the fighters very, very harshly in the rules meeting yesterday that low kicks would receive one warning and would receive penalty points thereafter. I think this is the quietest I've ever heard the crowd. Well, just as you say that, here they yeah. come again. Well, sensing as well, Rick, I think that their favorite son here, Jean-Yves, is in a battle. There's no question about it. Petritus came to fight. He told me at the press conference he was going to ruin John Eves and I's plans. I just hope he doesn't do that to me. He said people here hadn't seen him. They would be surprised. He definitely said in, this, in the uh, interviews that Rick Rufus would be the one accepting the fight with Petritus. Lansing traded rights on that one. Looked like an even exchange. Ooh. It's the first uppercut Terrio's been able to land oh, tonight. Why? Let's get this sense to uh, fellows that they're maybe looking for the, the second win here in this round. Overhand right gets through from Terrio. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Corley, but I think John Eves looks tired. I think both of them look tired, Rick, but uh, you're definitely right. Uh, Mr. Terrio does look tired. With three rounds to go, what would you advise Terrio and what would you advise Petritus at this point if you were in their corner? If I was in Petritus' corner, I'd be telling him to keep the pressure on John Eves and close and staying close. Is that what a Rick Rufus would do in the late rounds against a John Eve Terrio? Uh, depends how I broke him down. If I was winning the fight and I was far uh, ahead on points, I'd make him come to me and make him pay. Because John Eves' forte is to stand in there and fight on the inside and slug. And basically, the name of the game that I've always believed is hit and not get hit. That's why I can talk to you guys. How'd you score it, Joe? I had that last round marginally for Terrio, so I've got him up by one point now, 87-86. You're right, you make a good point. You know, it's those telling little blows. They don't look like much, but those those kicks to the arms, after a while, the muscles start to ache and the arms get a little heavier and you believe you leave me, yourself open. Believe me, after a fight, uh, it, it takes me more than a day to come down. And when I, you do come down, you feel soreness in places you couldn't even imagine. And what the average viewer at home should understand is these kinds of kicks that they're landing on each other are the kind of kicks that they landed on the average person in a self-defense situation would definitely disable the arm. There was another low kick a second ago. Petritus snuck that one by. Jay Will missed it. Can't see them all if they throw them on the other side of you. You can't always see them. Terrio lunging at Petritus. And you're looking at two tired fighters here? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I think uh, arm off, arm off. Let's go. John Eves uh, needs his hometown here to build a little momentum for him to get behind him, especially in the last two rounds. He's going to need it. I think uh, Mr. Coyle, the last two rounds will probably be the deciding factor of the fight. He really could make a big difference here. Big, big difference. Last two rounds, as close as I have it here. Remember, I have it. Let's go. Begin. Arm off. Break. Rick Rufus, we thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, I appreciate it, guys. It's a pleasure. The, Eight or nine rounds here. We wish you continued success. We hope that you heal well, and we hope that your uh, dream fight with Terrio comes true. Rick, it before will. you go, give me your prediction. What's going to happen in this fight next two rounds? I think uh, Petridis is going to have to come out, put a lot of pressure on John Eames. He's tired, and uh, stay on top of him if he wants to win. Now, John Eames has got to stop Petridis, and he's got to do it quick to keep him off him. Who's going to win it, Rick Rufus? Of course, John Eaves. I gotta say, John Eaves. I just want to thank all the uh, people that tune in tonight for watching, and uh, I hope you guys tune in when John Eaves and I fight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rick. How did you score that round? I had the last round even again, so I've got Terrio up by one point. Two rounds left, as Rick Rufus just said. These could be the most important rounds of the fight. Two rounds for Jean-Yves Terrio to set up what some people predict will be the biggest payday. A fight between himself and Rick Rufus. At this point, with it being so close, I mean, you have it so close. One point for Terrio, unofficially. Two fighters look for that one punch, or they look to score the point. I think both guys are trying for the one punch still, and that's uh, probably a uh, that's been a problem for both fighters in this fight. Both of them are knockout fighters. Petridis with 21, Terrio with 59, 80 knockouts between them. They go for the knockout. Normally speaking, you would say in the corner, forget the knockout. Forget the knockout and go after the guy and just stun him. Don't try to knock him out. Just stun him. Short punches like that. Little right. Short right gets through by Terrio. Left right by Petridis. That left jab of Terrio neutralizes every weapon that Petridis has, and he just hasn't utilized it. Now against Rick Rufus, who's going to move around Terrio a lot, you wonder what he's going to use as his weapon to close the distance. We're going to the 12th, the deciding round here at the auditorium in Verdun. John Yi Terrio in the toughest fight of his life for possibly the biggest payday of his life. How'd you score that last one? I had the last one even, so I've still got Terrio up marginally. One point, 107, 106 after 11 rounds. So what Rick Rufus said would be the two most important rounds now could narrow down to one round. One last drink of water for Tassis Pedidas. The mouthpiece is in. Terrio was first off his stool. Cassis Benitas, Sean E. Terrio. Karate Radio 6, and it's here on Viewer's Choice Pay-Per-View. If you're in Petridis' this corner, you might have told him, listen, you're in Terrio's hometown, you've lost two points. If you want to win this, you better knock him out. 
You better go in and do everything you possibly can to knock him out. Question, does he have enough there to do that with? This is by Terio. Right the right foot gets caught. And that shows you how tired he is because the strength in his other leg normally would have held him. Terio with a uh, front leg swing kick from the 38 year old in round number 12. Now listen to the crowd here in Verdun. They realize it. Round 12, the final round is coming to an end. They want the big finish from Terrio. And this Petridis, this Tyson hey, hey. Petridis is no sissy. He is no sissy. Under 30 seconds. Petridis has established himself on a worldwide basis tonight, no matter what the outcome is, as one quality competitor. Oh, that foot snuck in. Jay Will knew it wasn't uh, knew it wasn't intentional. I think he let it go for that reason. And we'll go to decision for the PKC World Super Middleweight Championship. Jean Yves Terrio and Tassis Petridis. And you scored that last round. I would have given that one to Terrio myself, which means without the points taken away, I would have had this fight scored as a dead even draw. Well, so much now is on the line, of course. Jean Yves Terrio with the win will set up the the big payday showdown with Rick Rufus this fall. They're talking about October, and Rufus, of course, as he said with us, hoping that Tassis Pedridis wouldn't pick his pocket here in Verdun. The crowd acknowledging Pedridis, the 26-year-old from Melbourne, Australia. Let's go to Howard Darling. Dr. John Keating, you've worked a number of Jean Yves terror fights. Have we seen the last of the Iceman with this decision forthcoming? This was the first time I've ever seen Jean Yves not dominate uh, in the fights that I've been at, uh, and he did not dominate this fight. I know we're all the way to the judges' scorecards. How did you How did you score this bout? I had the Australian ahead by two points. Well, Joe and Vic, we're waiting for the judges. Back to you. Uh, it's interesting the doctor has him ahead by two points it could be those two points that he may have lost according to the judges and joe unofficially had him down by 115 117 terrio in front those two points being taken away by the referee jt will always the favorite jean yves terrio here in verdun as we await now the Judge's decision. Three judges. The referee, Mr. Will, has no say. Thirteen-year career for Jean-Yves Terriot. And as the doctor mentioned, you come to expect, even at the age of 38, and despite the wonderful condition that this man is going to dominate every fight he takes. But not tonight, Tassis Pedridis giving the ice man everything he could handle. Hi, oh, the fuck's back home. <laughs> Pedridis from Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> the first time that Karate Mania is available nationally in Canada. We thank you for joining us on Viewer's Choice pay-per-view in Eastern Canada and on home theater in Western Canada. Viewer's Choice, pay-per-view offering world-class live events and top box office movies seven days a week, over 18 hours a day.
Mesdames, Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, voici maintenant la décision du juge. Here are the judges' decision. Juge Falsoni, Judge Falsoni, 115, 114, 115, 114. Juge Jodoin, Judge Jodoin, 110, 116, 110, 116. Juge Nadeau, Judge Nadeau, 115, 111, 115, 111. Le gagnant par décision majoritaire. The winner by majority decision. Et le nouveau champion PKC, Tassis Petritis. Well, look at Petritis. that. Petritis. Look at that. Tassis Petritis is the winner by decision and has stunned this crowd in Verdun. And at the same time, he has literally picked the pocket of Rick Rufus. Rufus expecting to have the biggest payday, the showdown with Terrio this fall. And now that, for all intents and purposes, is gone. And it would seem that now it is Marek Piotrowski. As we go to Joe and the winner, Tassis Petridis. Tassis, uh, you came a long way. You went to a decision. Did you really expect to win a decision in his hometown? Hey, I was ready to go one or 12 rounds, but I'd just like to thank a few people. Victor Terre for bringing me here. All the Canadians for supporting me. And, so, and one very idol of mine, Jean-Yves Terre for letting me fight him. And yourself, Joe Corley. Hey, I love this joint. <laughs> hey, and the boys back home. We did it! <laughs> Tuss, just tell us, what was the most powerful thing that landed on you during the fight? Oh, I'll tell you something. I'm not going to tell him, but he's got one beautiful uppercut. I'll tell you, I think my jaw's out of place. But I'd like to thank Terrier. He's been an idol to me. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the question for you is this. We said that we had a major Rick Rufus bout pending with Johnny Terrio and Rick Rufus. Uh, Tasha's Petridis interested in filling in for Terrio? Hey, I'll do anything. I'll fight anyone on this planet. I think if you're going to be the best fighter in the world, you've got to fight them all. Like I said, he's one great legend. We want Rick Rufus and we'll take him, Joe. Anytime, any place. Anytime, any place. Christopher Cronus is here, the uh, fight uh, manager for uh, uh, Mr. Petridis. Just one second, Tasha. Uh, Christopher, uh, any chance of, uh, would you like to see Tassis come back to America? Would you like to do something in Australia, one or both? We love the States. Kickboxing in Australia is a humongous sport. I promote in Melbourne myself. We get big crowds like you've got, a fantastic crowd here. It's great to see a crowd like this supporting kickboxing. We're willing to go anywhere on this planet. We're willing to fight anyone, anytime. We've got some very tough fighters in Australia, and this guy, this boy here, is our toughest. Tassis, uh, one more question for you. Tassis, one more question for you. Would you uh, would you give uh, Johnny Terrio a rematch here in Montreal? Hey, I'll give him a rematch. I'll give him a rematch for my title if he wants. Hey, I'll give him a rematch. That guy's a legend. Did you take I just like to thank him for giving me the opportunity to fight him. One more thing, I'd like to thank viewers choice. My girlfriend, Paul Fife from my trainer. Hey, Paul, come here, please. Okay, we're trying to get uh, Johnny Terrio in, and while 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 we're waiting for Johnny Terrio, Paul Fife what was the turning point in this fight as far as you were concerned? You're the trainer for Tassis. I don't think there was a turning point. It was just uh, consistency the whole way through. Johnny's terror was very strong. We thought he'd weaken at the end and he didn't. But Tassis kept it in there. I think both fighters found it very hard to breathe in here. Very hard. I was sweating like a pig and I wasn't doing a thing. I can't see why Tassis... Um, I can't see any turning point. I just could just keep on going. Thanks, Paul. We got uh, Johnny Terrio close by. Johnny. What was the corner telling you at the end? Did you think uh, the uh, title was in jeopardy there at all? No, I thought I, I uh, controlled the fight. I mean, I got a couple of punches, of course. Uh, everybody saw that. Second round, I went down. Uh, hey, where's the belt? The, it was a combination of a punch, and uh, my legs kind of were crossed. Uh, but he punched me a couple of times. And, but I didn't think that I lost a majority like that. Uh, 116, 110, that's pretty stiff. 115, 111. That's very stiff. Even had I won, I don't think it would have been uh, a reflection of how tight it was. You know, there's an interesting situation that we run into in uh, Montreal where you have 
the sport controlled by the Regie. Uh, it's a it's a Montreal Athletic Commission. They dictate who the judges are and so on. Do you know anything about the judging in the in the fight? Well, um, I'm going to say something that I, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, Jesus loves everybody. However, I think those are motherfucking assholes. Well, that's an unusual uh, unusual remark from uh, Mr. Terrio, I think. Now, one, one final question for you. If Petridis would give you a rematch here in Montreal, would you be interested early? Sure. I mean, uh, you know, give me a chance to recuperate a little bit from the training. Uh, 12 rounds always hard. Uh, the heat was a bit of a factor today. Uh, uh, I took a leg kick in the first round or second round, and uh, I mean, there's a bruise there. I mean, it, it was a big factor, but of course, uh, uh, you know, when uh, you can't move as easily as, uh, as you want, uh, you know, but I certainly would uh, love for him to give me a rematch. Soon? Yeah, of course, soon. Jean Terrio, obviously disappointed, somewhat bitter about the decision here in Montreal. Uh, as we scored it at ringside, it was very difficult for me to score it. I can't really comment on how competent I believe the score was. Obviously, Tassis Petridis liked it a lot. Vic? Joe, thank you very much. Yeah, Tassis did love it a lot as he wins the PKC World Super Middleweight title in, in stunning fashion, really here in the hometown of Jean-Yves Thériault in Verdun, where they, this man he is idolized by many, including Petridis. So what does that do now for the championship fight with Rick Rufus? Well, we'll have to wait and see come October. Maybe Rufus will meet Petridis, or maybe he'll fight, meet Merrick Petrovsky, depending on how Petrovsky does with his separated shoulder. Quite an ending to a wonderful evening of PKA Karate here in Verdun. Now on behalf of Joe Corley, Howard Dolgan, and our entire crew, I'm Vic Rauter. Thanks for joining us. Until we talk with you again, goodbye from Verdun. This is PKA Karate Mania 6 on Viewer's Choice, Pay-Per-View, and Theater.